from England, Paul Casey. If only I'd been born with forearms like that. Incredibly powerful individual both. You would have to consider the star group. Casey World number 21. He has been as high as number three in the world rankings in his career. That's a beauty. Casey warming to the task. It is a two for Casey. That's a good start. Paul, as defending champion, what is a different feeling you might get coming to a uh, venue to defend? Got pictures of me all over the place for a start. Does that make you nervous? No, but it's very cool because it doesn't happen a lot. <laughs> so, um, different feeling. I mean, a sense of pride, um, a feeling that I know I've won this tournament before, so I'd love to defend, which I've done before in the States, but I've not done in Europe. So lots of, lots of feelings, but they're all good. Right. Ryder Cup year, you've played three times. Is it something that you think about and really kind of make different efforts to possibly get points or do you just kind of let it take care of itself? Uh, I've played four, but that's all right. Four, okay. Um, I, 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 <laughs> I clipped you out of one. Follow the I'm researcher. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, do you know I used to get very wrapped up in it, and um, it's something that's very difficult to get out of your mind. I mean, it's discussed so much in the media over here. It's such a big deal, and if you kind of it can consume you to a point. But now I don't, I tend not to think about it. Now it's a case of, yeah, of course I want to be there and I want to be part of a, a winning European team. But you've got to think about sort of the smaller goals. You know, try to win a Porsche European Open will help that goal of getting on that Ryder Cup right. team. Plus, if I'm playing well, that's good for Paddy and the rest of the lads that I'm, I'm going to be in good form. So it's one of those things. Look, always in the back of the mind, whistling straights will be amazing. The Americans will be very, very strong. Bryson will be there. Brooksy will be there. <laughs> um, told you I'd mention Brooksy. Um, you got it in. So, but we uh, we respect for them. We respect their team, and we we know what a challenge it will be, and hopefully I'm part of it. Sounds good. Now, <laughs> off the golf course. Let's see. You broke a collarbone snowboarding. Now you're mountain biking. Is that not dangerous as well? I tend not to do too much of it anymore at all. No, I'm too busy with the kids to be honest. Um, I stay away from anything dangerous. I think it's written in one of my contracts. That's the only Nike say I'm not allowed to do anything extreme. Smart. So no, it's um, no a lot of time with the kids, uh, and there's no time to kind of, you know, do as much of that as I used to. Um, we could talk for ages, by the way, because we're we're stuck here because they're on the green is in front of us. Um, it's always good to have a defending champion. Just keep going. Yeah, no, a lot of stuff, sort of playing with the kids, practicing, messing around with cars and things like that. Mm -hmm. But. Um, a good week to, to mess around with cars this it week. It is a very good week to mess. Um, you know, the leader gets a car every day, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And then I get a car for the week, which is Depending pretty cool. champion. Which one are you driving? I have got, uh, it's obviously a Porsche. It's the Taycan Turbo S. And if Shame you... about that. Yeah, it's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks for your time. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. Always a pleasure. Cheers. He always seems so very relaxed now, Paul Casey. He really seems like he's enjoying life, enjoying his golfing life. And a nicely flag high there. And a beautiful butt there from Paul Casey. From long range. I have got a good feeling about him today. Hard to imagine he's not going to break par and potentially break 70 and get himself right back in the thick of this. Yeah. 
this one looking good again. That's as good as it gets. It really is. Over the top of the tree. For birdie. He fancied it, didn't he? Yeah, you get the feeling if Casey's butter warms up the way he feels like he's swinging today, he could shoot a really good score and potentially go on to successfully defend, but it's dependent on the putter. And it's let him down two times out of three today so far. It's an area of the game he's worked pretty hard on over the last two or three years and has improved it significantly. Evidence of that there, although a little bit too much spin, as John was suggesting. And the slope that John talked about, taking it all the way back to the front of the green. Casey for birdie. A lot of spin on the second shot, took him right down off the ridge. Oh, you know what? 16 on, 7 from the left, the flag. Yeah, like everything today is just being a fraction out. It was a good putt from where he was. Very difficult when you've got break and slope right in front of you in the first three or four feet of a putt. Good par three. First port of call, find the fairway if you're going to get there in two. Out with driver. It's a good line, isn't it? Good shape. Oh, it's a sneaky long one, that. Now, he can have a pop from there. Does he like it? Oh, he does. That's just splendid hitting from Casey. Huge tee shot. And that will be for an eagle three at the night for Paul Casey. And the golf course owes him one. Yeah, it certainly does. But still, what a golden opportunity for a rare eagle around this golf course. No problems at all for the defending champion, so he moves back to plus two or maybe even a five wood. 492 yard par four, one hand off the club, so not completely happy with the strike. What about the direction? Uh, not what he was looking for either. 2.19 to go. Such is the penalty for missing the short stuff around here, even someone with the incredible power and strength of Casey, no option there but just to bunt it down the fairway. And 73 yards to go. Green falls away from you here. There's no gimme this. Good eight feet. So having just made the birdie at the ninth, He's given it straight back at the 10th. Well, he launched it high. And accurately too. Terrific from Paul Casey. Straight in the back of the hole. No messing. What a birdie. What a birdie that was. In the rough, over the tree, no green to work with. Yeah. Oh, a splendid tee shot from Paul Casey. Only had eyes for the flag. He's played well enough today, Casey, to be at least 
four shots better and it's starting to get a bit frustrating for him. Bit of breeze into their faces here at 17. Yeah. Stay there. Oh, it's hanging on. He's well overdue, Dom. He really is up the hill. Little break off the right, if anything. Oh. <laughs> At last. Yeah, you deserved it, Paul. There's been a lot of good golf out there today, and he hasn't really made his fair share. But, you know, in his mind, he's thinking, birdie, birdie, finish. Get me back to level par. Out with driver for Casey. And that's headed straight for his tree. Yeah, it's a nice touch here, isn't it? They plant a tree for the champions. So Jordan Smith, Richard McAvoy and Paul Casey have all got them. They're not little trees as well. They bring them in quite big. It's quite an engineering operation. Casey's second shot into 18. Fade it subtly around his own tree, and he's done so absolutely beautifully to find the heart of the green in two. Nearly. It's pretty much been the story of the day for Paul Casey, though, on the greens, nearly, but not quite. It is a birdie, birdie finish for Paul Casey, the 2019 Porsche European Open champion. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.